all of the objects and matter in space is called the universe. It contains everything including stars, planets, satellites etc. And the universe is continually expanding. It's getting bigger and bigger. In this video we're going to look at some of the examples of different objects that we would find within the universe. First of all, a galaxy is a group of stars. There are billions of galaxies within the universe. Our galaxy is the Milky Way and there are billions of stars in the Milky Way. Humans perceive some groups of stars to form particular patterns called constellations. This is the Ursa Major constellation and it's part of the Milky Way. The Sun is the nearest star to Earth. It takes approximately eight minutes for light from the Sun to reach Earth. And the Sun forms part of our solar system. Our solar system consists of eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Pluto used to be considered a planet in the solar system, but now that's been downgraded to a dwarf planet, so we don't include it in our list anymore. This is the heliocentric model of our solar system. In the heliocentric model of the solar system, the Sun is at the centre and the planets orbit the Sun. The inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, are made of rock. And the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, are gas giants. The planetary orbits are a squished circle shape called an ellipse. The duration of orbits are different for different planets. It takes Earth approximately 365 days to orbit the Sun. But people didn't always believe that the Sun was at the centre of the solar system. There was an older model called the geocentric model and in the geocentric model the planets and the Sun orbit the Earth. And the reason why people used to think that this was the correct model was because whilst they were standing on Earth, they would see the Sun moving across the sky and they would see all of these other planets and the Moon too. So they used to think that the Earth was at the centre and this model is the geocentric model, but now we understand that the Sun is at the centre and it's the planets that orbit the Sun. Some other objects that we find in space then. We find comets, which are balls of ice and dust that orbit the Sun. The orbit is a different shape to a planet's orbit and it's elongated. Meteors are balls of dust and rock. And if they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they usually burn and can be seen in the night sky as shooting stars. And they normally burn up in the layer of the atmosphere called the mesosphere. They rarely hit the Earth's ground, but if they do, we call them a meteorite. The Moon is another object in the night sky, and the Moon is a natural satellite. It orbits the Earth once every 27 days. Other planets have moons too. Saturn has over 50. So the moon is a natural satellite, but there are other satellites that humans put into space too. Satellites that humans have launched into space are called artificial satellites. And there are thousands of artificial satellites in space. Communication satellites and the International Space Station are examples of artificial satellites. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gcserevisionmonkey.com. 
If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.